Sewing the back of your Yellowtail Camisole by Disparate Disciplines. This video is part of the Yellowtail Camisole Sew Along series. I'll be making two camisoles during the sew along, although they're not the ones shown in the photos at the very beginning of this video. One will be a color blocked version with full over elastic straps and there will also be a solid one with self fabric straps. This video will feature the color blocked version. Note that the fabrics used in the color blocked version do not have the same amount of stretch and are composed of different fibers. This makes it harder to match up all the notches and makes the fit not as perfect, which is something you should definitely keep in mind if you're going to do a color blocked version. To begin sewing, set up your sewing machine with your preferred stitch length. Test your stretch stitch and thread tension on a scrap of your fabric. I often use a 1.5 wide by 3.5 long satin stitch. Different fabrics need different stitch length and tensions, and machine settings do vary. You may also want to use a walking foot if your knit fabric is prone to stretching out, or if your sewing machine allows you to, loosen the tension on your presser foot. First, make sure you're using the correct pieces. The center front piece will be longer than the center back piece. Here's how the center back and back pattern pieces will go together. The side that gets sewn to the center back will curve in along its entire length, whereas the side seam will curve out at the bottom and in at the top. Sew one side of the center back piece to one of the back pieces. Match your notches as you go. Repeat this for the remaining side. The top of the center back piece should meet the notch at the top of the back piece. Notice how the notch is just below the top of the back pattern piece. Since the top of your back will be encased in fold over elastic, you will want the tip of your triangle to end below the very top of the back pattern piece. And that's all the sewing in this step. All you have left is to trim off the seam allowances from the center back piece that stick out over the top of your camisole. In the last step, fold over elastic will be covering the edge of the fabric, so you want it nice and even. Next, finish up your seams. You can serge, overcast, or pink them. If you're using a thinner knit, it would be best to grade the seam allowances instead. To grade a seam allowance, just trim one of the seam allowances shorter than the other. The seam allowance that lays closest to your body should be the shorter one. And now it's sewer's choice. Do you want to iron now or later? You may wish to save your ironing until you have accumulated more seams to take to your ironing board. When you do iron these seams, press them towards the side seams. If you press them in towards the center back piece, things will become too thick at the top of the center back piece with all four seam allowances laying one atop the other. That's all for this step. Next up, we'll be assembling the front of the camisole. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, pick up your Yellowtail camisole at the Disparate Disciplines shop. It's a pay what you want pattern, so you set the price. Be that free or however much you feel comfortable with. Half of all monies raised will go towards a charity for hunger in America.